Hi, I'm Kathy from Kathy Harms Photography, and I'm so excited to be the first online artist in residence for the Arts Council of New West. So I'm a New West based photographer and I shoot nature, uh, urban scenes, virtually anything. So over the next two weeks, I'm going to take you along on a few little adventures uh, with my camera and we'll see what we can find. Today we're in Burns Bog uh, on the boardwalk. Uh, it's the first time I've been here, so I'm not sure what we'll find. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we can find. So it was a bright sunny day, which is fantastic for the soul and for a walk. It's not always the best for photography. So as we started out, I wasn't really sure what, uh, what I would find to photograph. Uh, but what really got me into the spirit was uh, not far along the trail, I spotted this little hummingbird nest and uh, I don't think I've ever found one in the wild before. So I was very excited. Uh, it was not in a location that was easy to photograph. Uh, this is very much an evidence shot. It's evidence that I saw a hummingbird nest in nature. Uh, but it got me into the spirit and I just love these little guys. Another technique I use when the light isn't fantastic uh, on a sunny day is close-up photography. So I brought along today my 50 to 140 lens and a macro extension tube. So I call it close-up photography, not macro photography, simply because uh, of the technical definitions between <laughs> macro photography and close-up photography, and I'm not really getting in close enough to call it macro. Uh, however, this technique is really great for isolating a subject. So you find a subject that is in good light and you isolate it with a sh really shallow depth of field. So it, the background kind of disappears. So if there were harsh shadows in the background as there were in this image, you can kind of blur them out and they become less prominent and you can isolate your subject in the foreground. So I looked for a few opportunities to try that out. Another go-to technique I use in high contrast light is uh, multiple ex in camera double exposure. So I shoot with a Fujifilm X-T3, uh, which only allows two consecutive uh, double exposures. So you can't take an image earlier in the day and then come back and shoot a second image over top of it. You have to do them consecutively. That's a constraint, but not a not a, a deal breaker. So. The way I use that in this setting, there's a series of three images I'll share with you, um, is I do the first image, I find an area that is lower light, and I do an intentional camera motion uh, shot. So I use a very slow shutter speed, uh, and I intentionally move the camera either up and down or around to get the effect that I want. Uh, and then on the second image, I find somewhere that has a brighter uh, focus point. So in the first image, uh, the lichen on the branch, the light, the sunlight was catching it. Uh, so I used a faster shutter speed, a shallow depth of field. I isolated the branch uh, with the sunlight hitting it and uh, took the layered exposure. In this next shot, I did a very similar thing, uh, except I intentionally chose uh, the first layer with the intentional camera motion, uh, I chose an area of higher light uh, so that there would be an interesting play on light and dark throughout the image. Uh, then the second image I chose three trees that uh, the light was hitting them nicely, again with a shallow depth of field so that uh, you don't really see so much of all the trees in behind it. And in this third image, uh, it was a very busy uh, part of the forest in that there was lots of branches and messiness and not really a strong uh, focus point. So I really used uh, a lot of light in my in my foundational image with the intentional camera motion to really create that kind of misty uh, look in the middle to give some separation from that big tree with all the branches and uh, what it was reaching out towards in my mind's eye. So those are a few techniques I use to combat uh, poor light situations and still really enjoy finding creative images on uh, in poor light situations uh, while I'm out enjoying nature. So if you want to see any of these images or many more, uh, please do check out my website. It's www.kathyharmsphotography.com or uh, Kathy Harms Photography on Facebook or Instagram. And uh, I'll see you again shortly with some more uh, photography ideas.